then I saw her face I'm a believer And not a trace guys welcome to my channel so the first thing I'm gonna do is just take this light and natural foundation this is the most natural foundation that I have and I'm gonna place this all over my face because Fiona is a very natural princess now the object of the goal pretty much that I want to reach with these tutorials that I do on princesses is that they're going to be very wearable looks so these looks are very DIY there's a lot of huge youtubers out there that make the money and have all the backgrounds to create the perfect look so this look right here is just very DIY like I don't have the dress I don't have anything like that I don't have the right crowns if you're coming to my channel this is for very DIY and wearable looks so that's why I started the everyday Disney series I know that Shrek is part of DreamWorks, but it is a princess movie as well. So this is a very everyday type of look. So if you're really inspired by Princess Fiona, that is my goal for this look. All right, so now that I'm done with concealer, I'm just taking out this Fit Me powder. I am using mostly drugstore products for the face. And then we'll move on to the eyes because I don't have that much drugstore palettes, but you can just improvise, do what you can. So now I am just brushing off that powder. I've been wanting to do a Fiona look for the longest time. Everybody told me to do it, but I kept on obsessing over costumes and whatnot. But I thought my channel is all about DIY and well, I don't film DIY looks, but it's all about just making it every day and just using what you have. So I just made a quick widow's peak and I'm making very expressive eyebrows. So you're going to see me make a weird eyebrow on, uh, on my right. So it's expressive because she has expressive brows. So I know they're uneven, but that's because I wanted to take pictures after this and have more of an expressive look. So now with a brown liquid lipstick, I'm just creating faux freckles just like hers. I love her freckles. So now moving on, I'm taking Tea Rose by Milani to give myself that blushing appearance that she gets every time she spends alone time with Shrek, right? Okay, so I'm just placing these over my freckles to make them look more realistic because if you just leave them there, they don't look that great. So I'm using Modern Renaissance palette. It's only, it's only fitting for this look since it is a Renaissance period. And I'm just taking this beige eyeshadow and placing it on my brow bone and highlighting my inner corners. Now this is my own version of this tutorial. I've seen other people do it to a T and other people make her makeup look way heavier than it is. So I'm just going off of what I see in screenshots of her or from the movie. And I saw that she has like beige in her crease and then a lot of taupe in her beige in her lids and then taupe in the crease so that's what we're doing now i'm just taking this taupe color right here and smoking it out onto the lids i'm also going to bring this eyeshadow into the inner parts of the towards the eyebrow because this is just going to help sculpt the face a little bit so you just do that if you want to and also just go back with that white color and make sure that there's a good line right there so now i'm just doing the same thing for the other eye and placing that same taupe brown eyeshadow on the lower lash line for a more, more rounded eye type of look do that on both eyes and then we're going to move on to liquid liner she has a very tiny little wing so that's what i am doing and my camera actually cut off for my other eye but i'm doing going to be doing the exact same thing so it doesn't matter so try to get as close to your lash line as you possibly can and don't try to go too overboard because she's a very natural princess so once you're done doing eyeliner you're going to move on to lashes I am not going to be using falsies for this look because she is a natural princess and I thought that she has really pretty fluttery lashes. So I'm just using this mascara right here by Maybelline and just coating my lashes so they are nice and long and we don't need falsies. So just make sure that you coat your eyelashes evenly, don't get them too spidery so you can tell they're very separated. And once you're done with your lashes, we can move on to lips. Now I'm just taking this lipstick by NARS called Anna. I'm placing this all over my lips. Do not overline because she does have thin lips. So try to either, if you have larger lips already, try to uh, 
make keep them in the lines or do whatever you need to theatrically and now I'm just taking stock home by NYX to place on top because in some scenes she does have a pink lip and some scenes she has a nude lip. So I'm going for that more pinky nude lip and now I'm just taking a little bit of concealer to nude it out a little bit and the makeup look is done. I'm glad I have red hair. I didn't need a wig for this but this look was completely made up and DIY. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!